Hi guys! Good and Morgan! Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Han and Kai! Yan. So, today's video, um, dahil di naman ako masyadong busy, so I like to vlog today. And the weather is good today kasi. Um, super lamig sa labas. As you can see, to, this month is December, and December is winter month. Or, um, kaya sobrang lamig sa labas. <laughs> so, let's stay lang here. And while I'm drinking coffee because it's morning. So, tingnan tayo ng kape. Ay, ano pala tayo? Hindi to kape. This is chocolate. Nagpatimpla ko kay Hubby. <laughs> so, usually guys, si Hubby ko talaga yung nagtitimpla ng aking choco. Kahit na siya ay busy sa kanyang work. Ah, diba? <laughs> Inyan. Ganyan po siya magmahal sa akin. Na even he is busy. Work from home siya, nandun siya sa kwarto. So, sabi ko, timplahan niya muna ako ng choco and I'll make a vlog today kasi it's a good day kasi kahit na winter, um, lumabas si Haring Araw kahit pa paano. Kaya medyo <laughs> maliwanag siya, di ba? <laughs> usapan natin is how's my life or what are my experience living in Germany so I've been here for since I arrived August 2022 so when I make this vlog it's December 2022 so I've been here for almost or more than four months now I also experienced Germany during summer last year um, uh, under visit visa 2021 from July to September 2021, I experienced Germany as well as visit Pisa. So, today, let's talk about the my experience living in Germany. So, yan. So, alam ko, as a Filipina, you have some changes happening in our lives while we're staying here in Germany, di ba? So, let's talk about that. And watch our vlog until the end of this video. And if you are not yet subscribed on our YouTube channel, so please subscribe. And click the notifications bell, guys, para lagi kayong updated sa aming YouTube channel. So, let's talk about first, what are my experience living in Germany. So, number one is language barrier. So, as you can see, Germany also has a different, or they have a important language. So, it is German. Diba? Kung sa ating Pilipino... Tagalog, sa kanila German. So, yan. Language barrier is one of the um, medyo, yan, yung kailangan mo talagang pagdating mo dito is you will not get shocked. Kasi they speak more German than English. So, as a Auslander, or as a foreign living here in Germany, you need to adapt and adjust sa kanila. Hindi tayo yung hindi sila yung mag adjust para sa'yo. ba diba? Because, um, sa kanila, English is not totally. So, it's better for them. Kaya nga, di ba, as a suppose, you need to learn A1, kahit basic. Because as you can see, pagdating dito, iba na yung language, di ba? Talagang, language barrier talaga. <laughs> so, kami naman ng hobby ko, usually, more on English kami. Pero I am also learning German, di ba? So, you need to learn and adopt their language. Kasi one of the important talaga yun, to communicate to others here is the German, ba? Diba? So, English medyo parang second ano lang nila. Pero, especially if you're talking to your, to older here, like, like yung mother-in-law ko, ba? Diba? She don't speak totally English. So, some of that, you need to adjust talaga and learn German. So, yan. The next that I experience living in Germany is, they eat most of the bread on Cartofil. Yan. So, they eat more broch and on cartofil. So, sa atin kasi guys, we eat more rice, di ba? Rice is life sa ating mga Pilipino. Pero pagdating dito, they eat more um, 
bread in the morning, bread in the lunch, bread in the evening. <laughs> so, para ito ay para sa mga Pinay or Pinoy na plan mag uh, pumunta dito and what are the experience, di ba? So, para hindi kayo ma-shock din. <laughs> so, we are doing this vlog. So, yeah, they eat more bread on cartofil or potatoes. So, in four months living here already. Naka-adjust na rin naman ako. Nung una medyo, di ba? Oh, rice is life. As a Pinoy, I need more rice. I need rice. Good thing my husband naman is talaga whatever I want, he'll buy. Di ba? So, siya din, nag-adjust sa akin. He eat also rice na. <laughs> Pero balance kami. So, may araw na mag-rice kami. May araw din na bread lang. Yan. So, may araw din na cartofil lang yung partner sa, namin sa, for example, sa meat. Yan. And then cartofil. Yan. Balance as in balance lang. So, next is, that I experience is, the food and, or products here, is really expensive. Yeah. Um, as a first timer talaga, yun yung, ano mo eh, um, yun yung thinking mo na, you every time converted to euro, from euro to peso, diba? Kasi sa atin naman sa Philippines, every, um, yung expenses, yeah, ano din, grabe din, pero, hindi, hindi ganun ka, kamahal ng bilihin kumpara dito. So, as a first timer talaga, you will experience that. You will convert everything when you go to grocery, when you buy some food, when you go to uh, to restaurant or fast food, diba? So, for example, me and my husband are going to restaurant or fast food. Um, the water is not is not included in the meal that you buy or the the beverage, di ba? So, but in the Philippines kasi, yun din, yun din naman, beverage like Coke, like that. Pero yung waser, if you will go to restaurant or fast food, it's free, di ba? So, at saka yung ketchup nga, as I said, yung pag kumari, you're going to uh, fast food like McDonald's, yan, or Burger King, um, water and uh, ketchup is not included. So, you need to pay as well. Pagdating dito, ha? So, Yan, kaya talaga everything <laughs> if they if they think that yeah, it's a good life here. It's a good life to live here, but everything you need to pay. Like everything you need uh don't be shocked that even like a small of that waser just just a waser ah, but you need to pay it. Kaya ganon. Kaya ano din um talagang everything or every that I experience living here is Nakapashock din naman talaga sa first timer. But as time but as time goes by, you will adopt. <laughs> you will adopt everything. So, the next is, the next that I experienced living here in Germany is the weather. The weather! <laughs> mm. So, uh, Germany has a, have a four seasons kinds of weather. So, ano ba yung four seasons of kinds of weather? Springs. Spring. Uh, it runs out from March to May, yung spring nila. So, the next four seasons na, spring is from March to, to May. Summer, June to August. Summer is, is like a weather in the Philippines as well. Grabe din yung init pag summer talaga. Autumn. September to November naman yung, yung start ng autumn. Yung winter, December to February. So, yan daw yung, yan yung four seasons ng Germany. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. So, sabi di ba December is winter, but uh, when I experienced uh, last November, the snow arrived early instead December. So, after my birthday, November 18, the next day, November 19, or when we are uh, on a vacation with my husband going back to where we're living, uh, nag-arrive early yung winter, yung snow, nag-arrive siya. So, I was so shocked and I was so amazed with, in winter, in, in snow, di ba? Kasi, in Philippines, only rain and, and summer lang ang meron sa Pilipinas. So, 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 when I experienced the snow last November, first experience, I was so amazed. I was so, wow, everything turns white. Every area, it becomes white. Uh, tapos, yung mga puno, yung mga nature, naging white sila. 
So, <laughs> parang nag-block naman yung paligid. <laughs> so, yan, yeah, nakakamiss. But, at, as the next day, you experience it. Or as the next, like this. <laughs> Sobrang lovely niya, guys. Ngayon nga, it's, ano, ne- lalo na kahapon, nag- nag ano negative 11 degrees grabe kaya grabe yung snow pero ngayon buti na lang may snow pero at least lumabas si Haring Araw pero yun nga malamig pa din kahit lumabas si Haring Araw grabe 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 yung lamig alam niyo yan sa mga Pinay living in Germany here you know that even my husband keep telling that um, he he hates snow <laughs> he hates winter <laughs> so sobrang lamig talaga <laughs> so pero as a Filipino living in Philippines then then you will see it in the internet or like this Parang it's amazing, diba? It's really amazing. But when you really encounter it or experience it, talaga eh. Yeah, first time you will love it, the next day you will hate it. <laughs> so, the next is um, that I experience living here. When it comes to birthday or celebration sometimes, especially birthday, um, sa, sa, in a family gatherings, sanay na sila guys yung ano lang, um, they eating more cake and toffee. Parang ano lang. It's just an ordinary day. You're just eating cake and coffee. Ganun lang yung ano nila set up. <laughs> Kapag mga simple gatherings like birthday nga. Celebration. So, sa Philippines kasi ba pag birthday natin talagang bongga, ang daming handa. Kahit na wala kang pera, <laughs> talagang pag birthday mo, paghahandaan ka. As in, may cake ka pa. As in, may, may palumpia, may papansit, every, every food. Talagang kahit you don't have budget, talagang you're gonna buy. Because it's your birthday, di ba? Talagang bonggahan. Pero pagdating dito, guys, simple lang ang birthday. <laughs> simple lang talagang they gonna eat, they're just gonna sit in the table, dining table, and then parang, um, ano pa yan, guys, sincere. Talagang, um, parang they just only talk personal. Um, and then they're just gonna eat eat um, cake and coffee. Ganun lang. Ganun lang set up nila pag birthday. <laughs> so, huwag kang masyasya kapag walang bonggang handa dito. So, natural lang yun sa kanila guys. Ganun sila dito. <laughs> so, so, yeah. The next is, yeah, this is one of the reasons that's why I also love living here is um, napakalinis ng area dito. They segregate. Or they separate the waste in the bin. In bin, di ba? So, every time I go out, sobrang talagang ma-amaze ka kasi ang linis, walang kalat. Alam mo yun? <laughs> every time you walk in the in the mountain, or parang nag-hiking kayo, or just walk outside, sa kalsada, wala kang makitang basura. As in, as in napakalinis dito. Yun yung isa sa, sa good things that I experienced here in Germany. Kasi, uh, napakalinis, as in, separate the waste in bin. So, they have separate ng organic, metal, glass, paper, or carton. They separate. They have uh, bin for every that. And plastic, as in, they segregate every every waste. Um, also, diba, as I said, I was amazed during my first time here. Kasi, di ba sa atin, usually yung sa Philippines, usually, we throw or, yeah, we throw na yung mga plastic na hindi important. Um, yung Coke, katulad yung plastic ng Coke, ganon. So, dito, um, you can convert it, yung plastic ng Coke, yung plastic ng wasser, mineral wasser, like this. Pag naubos na, pag naubos ko na to, um, hindi namin yan tinatapon dito. So, we we keep it. And then, when we go to grocery, grocery you can convert it. You can convert it to lesson and pay your your grocery. So, yan. Pag naipon mo yan, you can use it for paying and lesson your grocery. Yan. So, every one of these is converted to 25 cents. So, pag nakaapat ka na ganitong bottle, plastic bottle, so it's 1 euro. ba? So, yan. Kaya, we keep that after we drink it. We just only put it in the side and then after that, we're going to grocery, we can use it to lessen our grocery. So, yan yung isa sa nagustuhan ko na sistema 
ng Germany, di ba? Para, ano din, um, it's a good, ano rin talaga, good ways, di ba? Next is, that I observe here, or my experience living here, is, um, some German, they don't buy like, mineral plastic bottle, mineral water. They drink in the, they drink water in the sink. Yeah, they drink water in the sink. Sa, kung baga sa ating gripo, <laughs> di ba, pag nagugas tayo may gripo, or sa, sa CR, di ba, there's a gripo. They can drink that, guys, here. Sabi nila, malinis daw. Yun, ang asawa ko din before, parang ganun din. Pero bumibili talaga siya ng ganyan. So, some of my Filipino friends here, doon sila umiinom, mas gusto nila uminom doon. Pero ako, hindi ko pa rin kaya, guys. <laughs> So, kaya talaga nagpapabili ako ng ganito kay Happy. May sarili akong waser. Kasi hindi ko kayang uminom sa gripo talaga. As in, hindi mo siya papakuloan. Inumin mo lang siya direct. Siguro nung unang dating ko dito, nung August na after we arrive here, kasi syempre gabi na kami dumating, nauhaw ako. Of course, we cannot go to grocery, so the next day pa. So, uh, I don't have a choice to drink in the sink. <laughs> so, pero pwede mo rin naman siya pakuloan. Pakuloan yun. Ginagamit ko siya if I drink like this. Hot choco. Yan. Pero ako noon yun. Hindi ko pa rin talaga kaya. Hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa rin kaya. So, I buy my own. Si Habi pa rin nagbabay. <laughs> si Habi ang bumibili sa akin ng ganito, ng water. Water. In German kasi water, di ba? So, yan. Ano pa? Ano pa yung mga bagay na na-experience ko living here in Germany? Yan. German loves hiking. Yeah, this is true. German loves hiking talaga. Lalo na kapag autumn und. Uh, autumn, summer und. Spring. Yeah, they love hiking. Going to do, to nature adventure. Yeah, talagang 3 hours. 3 hours para balikan na yun ah. As in, maglalakad ka lang. <laughs> they hike. So, I experienced it many, many times. As you can see sa other vlogs ko, diba? Other vlogs namin. We visit some nature trail, nature adventure here in Germany. And they love walking. Pero it's a, ano din naman, it's a good health. It's a good idea din naman. And it's good health din naman sa atin yun, di ba? So yeah, that's one of the, the experience ko living here in Germany. Ano pa? Um, yeah, what, uh, when I have a meeting German or Filipino friends here that they have a baby, um, Yan. Avoid taking photos with their babies of your friend. Parang ganun. Or, um, avoid taking photos sa ibang mga tao dito, mga German. Yan, bawal. Di, di yun pwede na bila-bila ka na nang magpipicture, ganun. Pero if you have friends, yun nga, you need to ask permission first. If, if they can do photos, they can for remembrance photos together or their babies pero it's not allowed to post easily you need to ask permission po first kasi napakahigpit nila dito pagdating sa bata kasi to avoid ano um for privacy nila at saka for ano na din kasi magtakaw sa mata ng mga bad or criminals or pang ganun yung yung mga bata so some of my german or filipino friends here you need to ask permission first. Hindi ka basta-basta pwedeng mag-picture. Pero sa kanila, pwede naman. Pero you need to ask permission talaga. Yun yung mga na-observe ko. Tsaka kahit nasa open area ka, like you're going to city, sabi ni Habi ko, huwag basta-basta mag-picture. Okay lang na-picture lang tayong dalawa, kaming dalawa, family, ganun, if we're going out. Pero avoid taking photos too much. Oo, kasi it's really, ano talaga, not allowed. So, unlike sa Philippines kasi, di ba, kalabira tayo, go, picture here, picture there, picture everywhere. Kahit hindi ka humingi ng permission na sa mga kailangan, ala, sige, picture, picture, video, video, ganon, di ba? Kahit saan, ganon. Go na go tayo. Pero dito, it's not allowed. Hindi ka pwedeng basta-basta mag, mag, uh, picture, picture. <laughs> so, if you come here, um, talaga, makikita mo yung difference, living, di ba? Pero you will adapt it. You will adapt it. Last and but not the least, <laughs> So, ano ba yung mga experience ko when I live here in Germany? So, my physical body changes. So, my physical body changes. Kasi, when I arrive August, it start na yung, ano ko, um, nagkaka, ano ko, um, dandrap. So, talagang yung, yung, isa sa, isa sa, 
experience ko, so, syempre, dahil climate, weather changes. So, nagkaroon ako ng dandrap. As in, talaga, alam mo yon As in, na everyday ako, kahit pa everyday ako maligo, talagang yung, ano niya, yung dandrap. Tapos, ang dami kong, ang dami ko na natry na shampoo, Philippine shampoo, any shampoo ng German, yun. So, I think, almost, ano din siya, nag, nag, August, September. Yeah, parang two, more than two months din siya yung talagang dandrap ko, kahit na anong ligo ko, hindi talaga nawala. Pero, as time, as time goes by, bigla na lang siya nawala. <laughs> Hin Oo, hindi na siya masyadong ganun na talagang ano, talagang, ay, <laughs> hindi na, hindi na, bigla na lang siya nawala. Kahit na, uh, na sumubok ako ng ibang shampoo before, hindi talaga basta, basta siya nawala eh. Pero ngayon, nawala na lang siya, as in, nawala na lang siya ng kusa. Hindi na siya yung, hindi na siya yung talagang everyday ganun, na makate, ma itchy sa hair. Hindi na, bigla na lang siya nawala, as in, bigla na lang. Kaya, good thing, and, and thank you talaga na, na ano din, na wala, <laughs> bigla na wala, kasi talagang isa yun sa problema ko, na tsaka parang nagbalat-balat yung mukha ko, tapos, ngayon nga medyo ano naman, nagkakaroon ako ng, parang sa atin ba, bungang araw, yung back ko, nagkakaroon ako ng small spotted, pero hopefully, mga next year, kapag medyo, ano na, bagong season naman, is mawala siya, yan yung ano ka naman, kakatapos na ng dan, tapos na naman yung back ko naman, parang nagkaroon ako ng bungang araw sa atin, So, sabi ko nga eh, bakit buong araw? Wala naman daw araw dito. So, baka sabi ko, ano, uh, winter araw. <laughs> Ay, winter. Winter. Bungang winter. <laughs> Bungang winter. So, yan. Yan yung mga uh, physical body changes na nangyari sa akin during that. Pero hopefully naman, itchy siya eh, pero hopefully naman medyo gumaling siya. Man. Wala akong ginagamit eh. Kung baga, nililigo ko lang. Sinasabi. Pero, ayun. May time lang talaga na makati siya. May time na ano naman. Pero hopefully maging okay. Okay din siya. Next, ano, next mawala na lang din siya bigla, katulad ng dandrap ko. <laughs> Oo, as in, alam mo sa Pilipinas, di mo lang dandrap. Dito lang. Kaya sabi ko, ano talaga, weather changes na rin kasi, bad, uh, physical body changes na rin. Siyempre, nag a pa tayo. So, yan. So, ano pa, pwede ko maidagdag? Ah, last one. So, sa atin, as a experience, meeting, seeing German here, na kahit na senior ka na, they still working. Ay lang yun. They still working here. Um, walang, ano, pagdating sa trabaho lang discrimination ano yun so you are still kung sa Philippines kasi pag senior na tayo stop na di ba enjoy life na lang let the let your kids work for you na lang di ba mga ganon let let your kids uh, be responsible naman to support your parents para mga ganon di ba or as a senior you're just gonna enjoy working in the farm na lang enjoying your life ganon dito you still need to work kasi <laughs> sa sobrang gastos din sobrang taas ng mga bilihin or expenses so they they still working kahit senior ka na. So, yeah. Even my mother-in-law nga, diba? She's, she's 62 yata or 63. She's still working, diba? So, hindi, hindi kasi gusto sa kanila dito na yung, as I said before nga, hindi nila, hindi sila nanghingi ng uh, support sa kanilang mga anak. Hindi usoy dito. So, kung nasa part lang ng mga anak, kung magbibigay ka, especially like birthday or or may mga events like Christmas, ganon, ganon lang. So, ganon sa kanila talagang kusang loob lang. Hindi yung monthly every support, hindi ganon. Kahit nga, ano. A ako nga eh, birthday ko, and Christmas, nasanay ako na ako yung nagpa tumutulong sa family ko, ganon, di ba? Ganon yung ano natin. Pero dito, I am really happy kasi yung mother-in-law ko, siya yung nagbibigay sa akin. Siya yung uh, binigay niya ako ng uh, birthday cash nung birthday ko last month. Even yung brother-in-law ko. Ganun sila dito. Hindi. Tapos ngayon, December din. So, my mother-in-law will give me something again, a present. So, yeah. Ganun ang mga na-experience ko. Isa pa, kasi dahil nga, December na rin ngayon. December na din. ba? Diba? So, kung sa atin pala, gusto kong i-share yung, ano pala, celebration of birthday. Ayan pala, yung event. So, isa pala, is December na ngayon. So, usually sa atin, New Year and Christmas, is talagang, we, we, we spend many food, or we, we put in the table so many food for the present, di ba? Especially in Christmas and December, uh, in Christmas and New Year in December. But here it's different. It's just normal. Parang they just only, more they celebrate it in the day of December 25. Yan. Doon lang sila guys magluto. Hindi tulad sa atin na talagang Noche Buena is 24, di ba? In the evening we eat that and then we, the next day, di ba? Ganon. Dito hindi. Talagang sa 25 pa sila mag, <laughs> yun yung pinaka Christmas talaga nila. Doon lang sila yung, simple gaano lang. As I said before, simple gatherings. Yung umupulo ka lang sa, sa dining table, kwentuhan ng konti, habang, habang kumakain, ganun lang. Tsaka simple as in simple 
ano lang, parang simple, ano lang talaga, ordinary, ano din. Pero, ayun nga. So, yun lang talaga, adapt lang. And, as a, as a new, new Pinay living here in Germany, yun talaga, you just need to adapt. As time goes by, maintindihan mo rin sila. Maintindihan mo rin yung culture and traditions nila. So, you will experience this as time goes by. Maa-adapt mo, di ba? So, tulad ko, I was craving for rice every, di ba, in Philippines. And when I arrive. Pero as time goes by, nabalance ko na. I don't every time craving for rice. I'm craving also for German food. Ganon. Uh, as time goes by, you will adapt. As a new Filipina living here. Yun talaga. Yan yung mga bagay or life experience ko. First life experience ko living here in Germany. Staying here. So guys, um, hopefully you got ideas or inspired in my vlog. Especially guys, yung may mga... Uh, foreign partner na LDR pa, tapos, they want to know what are the experience living here as a Filipino, di ba? So, para hindi kayo mabigla or masyak when you come here. Oh, ganito pala, ganyan. So, this vlog is really, hopefully, helps you to know, di ba? And, hopefully, get you idea and inspired, di ba? And, um, kung ano pa yung guys, yung mga, sa inyo din, as a Filipino na living here, ano yung mga na-experience nyo? Just comment down below and I am really happy to read it. Maybe I can also make a new vlog or second second vlog uh, living experience here in Germany because of your comment, di ba? Kasi may mga kung ano din yung mga hindi ko rin na nabanggit, you can comment down below, di ba? So, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel and click the notifications button <laughs> para lagi kayong notified sa aming mga susunod pa na new vlogs that we will share here. And thank you again for watching. And Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss!